first I want to comment on the motion submitted by uh, my colleague Ms. Lalonde. Uh, while I, I, I like the comprehensive of it, I just think we need to make it shorter so we, have, we give the, uh, the conservative no excuse whatsoever to vote against it. <laughs> and the way, uh, what, I, what I'm hearing from the conservative today is quite interesting. They are mischaracterizing the conflict right now as if it's between Hezbollah and Israel. As if they have picked an empty corner in this planet and started bombing each other, neglecting the hundreds and thousands of civilians who were killed, maimed, or displaced. The government claims to have a moral courage to condemn targeting civilians. Well, the opposition parties have agreed with them in condemning the acts of Hezbollah that target civilians. But we also have the moral courage to condemn any acts of violence committed by Israel against civilians. And we expect the government who claims to have a moral courage to speak up on behalf of civilians and civilian infrastructure. Mr. Van Loon has said he knows what is right and what is wrong when he sees it. They talk about how sympathetic they are to the civilians who are being killed and displaced. But they're reluctant to call for a ceasefire. A ceasefire. What does that mean? They're condoning the ongoing conflict. They're condoning the ongoing violence. Yes, and that is reprehensible and it's regrettable. Canadians expect their government not to be neutral, like you said, Mr. Van Loon, but to be fair and to condemn violence against civilian by all parties. And the best way to do it is by calling for a cease, immediate, immediate ceasefire. Not talk about it as an abstraction. It's not an abstraction to the civilians, including Canadians who are caught up in the, in the crossfire over there. It's not a philosophical debate. It's a real tragedy where Canadians and other civilians are being subjugated to ongoing violence on both sides, in Israel and in Lebanon. And also, we can't forget the Palestinian territories. We must, we must have the moral courage to ask for a ceasefire immediately. And then, bring all the sides that you're referring to, to the negotiation, to the negotiating table. And we, we, we can set the conditions that are needed to make a sustainable ceasefire. But you cannot, for anybody that has an ounce of heart, watch the civilian devastation and destruction and say, I'm reluctant to ask for a ceasefire right now. I don't care how much difference that call can make, but it is imperative to send a message, a signal, that Canada unconditionally always stands on the side of protection of civilian on all sides. We want to condemn the acts of Hezbollah that target civilian, we'll all agree with you. But we also must protect the civilians in Lebanon and in Palestinian territories by standing up for their rights and human rights. I don't know how anybody can hide behind human rights and international law by saying, let, this, let the fire continue. So I call upon the government. This is the Conservative Party, by the way, that is raising funds on the back of this tragedy. This is the party that is raising funds on the back of tragedy that all sides, are, civilians on all sides are suffering from. Nobody's benefiting from this except the Conservatives who want to raise money from it. I urge the government to reconsider and call for an immediate ceasefire and work with all responsible parties. We're not just a friend of Israel, we're not just a friend of Lebanon, we're a friend of peace and prosperity and human rights.